And now, your first alert five weather. Afternoon on tap first as we take a live look outside across the area on our sky cams. Look at those gorgeous bluebird skies. A few friendly cumulus clouds for us this afternoon, but nothing that's going to bring us any rain, not even in the mountains, unlike the last few days with high pressure on the way in. But that high pressure is going to lead to the potential for some fire risk for us tomorrow. We'll talk about that more in just a few minutes, but taking a look right now, 76 degrees here in Colorado Springs, low humidity, but look at those winds, 18 miles per hour out of the south southwest. Those are going to continue to kick up today and tomorrow. That's going to partially lead to that fire risk. Another view right now live in Pueblo at the Riverwalk. A gorgeous afternoon really across the board. 82 degrees, plenty of sunshine, a weaker wind right now in Pueblo. But again, no matter where you are, those winds they are going to be kicking up. Now, as we take you hour by hour through the rest of the day, temperatures very comfortable, feeling a little bit more like late summer than early fall with Again, mainly sunny skies, 80 degrees in the middle of the afternoon in the springs, upper 80s in Pueblo, dropping to the lower 80s or upper 70s by dinner time in Pueblo and lower 70s in the springs. Now, as we take a look at the satellite and radar picture across the west coast right now, we can see this area of upper level low pressure. This is going to miss us as it swings east over the next couple of days, but notice how it's leading to these winds out of the southwest. Now, those winds, as we move through the next day or so, are going to increase as that low gets closer to us. So timing things out with future cast tomorrow at 10 a.m. The winds are already gusting at around 20 miles per hour. And as we move into the afternoon with that sunshine, those, that sun's going to help to mix the atmosphere up a bit. And the winds a few thousand feet above us are going to be relatively fast tomorrow. So that mixing is going to mix those fast winds down to the ground. So by the early afternoon, the winds will be anywhere from around 25 to 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour for our wind gusts. And those southwesterly winds are going to come down off of the mountains. That's called a downslope wind flow, and that's going to be a dry wind for us. So not only will these winds be fast, they will also be very dry. That's what's going to lead to that fire concern for us tomorrow. And taking that a wider look once again and timing things out with our upper level pattern, we can see this is really due to two different features. We have this upper level low. We also have a high pressure system located to our south. And as we move through Thursday into Friday, notice how they get a little bit closer to each other. This low remains off to our north, so thankfully it's not going to bring us any more rain, but it is going to tighten that uh, difference in pressure, which is going to lead to the potential for us to get those stronger wind gusts on Friday, Saturday. Uh, and they will start to relax on Sunday as that low continues to move to the east. So that is why we have a fire weather watch in effect Friday at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. due to those gusty winds. We're watching for this to potentially be upgraded to a red flag warning uh, as we move later into the day. So taking a look at our super seven day forecast, uh, we are going to be pleasant and comfortable in the in Colorado Springs over the next several days uh, with plenty of sunshine uh, and sorry about that uh, temperatures in the lower 80s and then as we uh, in Pueblo temperatures will be in the upper 80s uh, as we head into the weekend uh, things will be a little bit cooler in Woodland Park in the low 70s so feeling a little bit 